It's a holiday shortened week with Easter holidays fast approaching and of course the markets heading into a new week of trading mid month, which typically tends to be a better part of the month of April. That's coming up on three minutes on Markets and Money. This week will probably be a much lighter trading week as we approach the Easter holidays. Over the last few days, though, the market has been in a decline after this rally that we had coming off these lows. The market's been kind of pulling back here, but it's been a very orderly pullback at this point without a lot of real volatility pickup. And the market continues to kind of hold support right at the 50 day moving average. So, so far, the market's not done anything wrong other than do exactly what we wanted, which was to work off some of that previous overbought condition that existed. Now, this potentially sets the market up here for a little bit more positive action if the markets can hold support here at that 50-day moving average. However, we did just trigger a sell signal from a fairly high level with the MACD crossover. Also, the relative strength index is coming off fairly high levels. So there is potentially more correctional action to happen in the markets here, at least over the course of this week. That would not be surprising at all. Again, the market needs to hold this 50-day moving average. A violation of that would retest these lows that go back to March of this year. That isn't necessarily a terrible thing as the markets just continue this real kind of consolidation process that we've been in now for the last month or so. It's been difficult here for traders to really kind of make any directional bets one way or the other because of this real kind of sloppy action in the markets as the markets are trying to price in tighter Fed policy, potential for a recession, those type of things. The markets are trying to absorb all of that, particularly now as we move into earnings season, the thing to be paying attention to are outlooks for a lot of these companies as they begin to talk about the impact of inflation on profit margins, higher employment costs. How does that impact their bottom lines and earnings outlooks? Because earnings estimates right now are still very elevated for 2022 and 2023. So as we begin to get through this earnings season, we're likely to start to see these estimates coming in some more. To, to bring down those levels to compensate for inflationary numbers. So as we, again, as we kind of watch this, this will tell us a lot about what to expect here over the course of the rest of this year. Two other areas to be watching right now. Several weeks ago, we noted that oil prices had gotten very extended, more than three standard deviations above their long-term moving average. And we suggested that time to be on reducing exposure to energy stocks and reducing concentrated risk in that area. That correctional process has continued now with a violation of the 50-day moving average. This sets oil prices to retest the $81 a barrel level currently in the markets as we are still on this sell signal right now and not entirely oversold on an RSI basis. That certainly suggests that we could see lower oil prices here over the next month or so. So again, long energy stocks may be underperforming here just a bit as of late. Of course, energy has been one of the leading sectors of this market really this year, up about 35% for the year or more relative to the index. However, some good news for the gold bugs is that gold is on a buy signal here with the markets actually trying to come up here. Now, a breakout of gold here at this point could push gold prices back up to around the 2022 level on gold prices. But importantly, we are a bit overbought here in the short term, so this may not be a direct move higher. But again, this MACD buy signal on gold suggests that we could see some higher gold prices in the near future. And that would certainly kind of correspond with a lot of this talk we're hearing about inflation and recession in the mainstream media. Could see gold prices actually move up. That wouldn't be surprising really either. If it can break out of this resistance level, it's had a nice consolidation along the 50-day moving average. And again, that would set gold prices to run up to about $2,022 an ounce. I'm your host, Lance Roberts, for three minutes on markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.